Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to do your makeup like an Instagram model. We're not an Instagram model yet, but we can look the part. <laughs> Hey, I'm Olga, and welcome to my fabulous life. I just have here. I'm on vacation right now. I'm not in Vegas. So we'll make do with whatever we have. I want to do a big shout out to my friend Sarah Montoya. Please check out her YouTube channel right here. She's the one who pushed me to do this makeup tutorial. She's always 100. Thank you so much, Sarah. So guys, thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate everything. I hope you guys would continue to like this video so I can share all the happiness, all the skills, and everything. So guys, let's get started. Start by moisturizing our face. I use this nail soothing gel from s and It alleviates redness that I have in my face. And then after that, I'm going to prime my face with Ulta Beauty Poreless Primer. Um, I would just take a small amount. I like to warm up the primer by rubbing it on my fingers and start by putting it on your T-zone and spread it out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my neck. But you're gonna wait for 5 minutes until it does its job. Once you've seen the blurring effect already, go ahead and get the um, NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer in colorless and just Put it under your eyes and on your lids. So I'm using this eyeshadow primer in order for our concealer and eyeshadow to stick to our skin better. If you are done priming your face and your lids, go ahead and get your foundation. Today I'm going to be using my Holy Grail Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup in Sand. And I'm going to be using Real Techniques Foundation Brush. I don't usually put the product directly on my face. I want to put it on my hand first. And as you can see, guys, my face is so red compared to my neck and chest. I've been raving about this to my friends for years. Okay, let's go talk about the price point. The price point isn't the most um, affordable thing that you can find out there. But this really worked out for me since I have oily skin, I'm acne prone, I have sensitive skin, I always have redness and all that. This really works out for me in that it doesn't give me the oxidation or the orange tinge that orange tinge that other um, foundation gives me. So I've tried everything. I've tried MAC, I've tried NARS, but I'm always going back. For a streak-free application, go ahead and do a stippling motion to achieve that airbrush effect. I usually start my foundation on my T-zone, but I just want you guys to see the difference between no foundation and with foundation on. I've always struggled with acne because I have blue gloss. Even though I don't put concealer, but this foundation is just so good by itself. It's like a skin in a bottle. And of course, don't forget to put foundation on your neck and your chest area. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you guys. I wasn't able to film the contour, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. So this is the beginning of your contour and the end of your contour. So go ahead and get a flat eyeshadow brush the bridge of your nose will be your guide so go ahead and blend the contour right there by the way i'm using bare minerals bronzer in photon and bare minerals loose powder in warmth my friends would tell me oh my gosh your contour is showing if your friends tell you that um that's not a good thing that means that your makeup is showing and you didn't blend that well go ahead and draw a v 
Contouring would give you an instant slimming effect on your face and will give more dimensions to your selfies. For my cheeks, I use the e.l.f. contour brush and the Bare Minerals Pressed Contour Powder in Faux Tan. Do a swooping motion just like that. And then on the other side. Make sure to blend your contour well to have a chiseled face with no streaks. And then the Real Techniques Blunder Brush. And then just line my jaw. And then I have a pointed chin, that's why I do this because I don't like it to be, you know, highlighted. And then do it on the other side as well. Just follow your jawline right here. Like some people would do like a fake square jawline. But if you're a beginner, just follow your facial structure. And then go ahead and blend it doing a circular motion. And then I have a big forehead. <laughs> I like to um, contour it and move the attention away from my big forehead. I like to use this bronzer. So I'll just shake it like this. Sometimes it gets like really, really shook. So there are a lot of excess products, but I just get the cap. And then just swirl my contour brush on it. Then just swoop it around my face to give me that extra oomph or extra warmth. Of course, guys, less is more. Don't over bronze your face or else you would look so fake. Go ahead and get the same flat eyeshadow brush that you had earlier and get the Bare Minerals Faux Tan. Find your crease. Like, if you don't have a crease, just like me because I have Asian eyes, just go ahead and pretend that you have one. It is usually right here. So just do an imaginary crease. Attempt the contour by doing a concave motion on your lids and just blend, blend, blend. This is just a contour so it doesn't have to be perfect. And of course, do it on your other lid as well. As long as you cannot tell where it goes, or where, where does it start? You don't have to worry about it. So the next part will be highlighter and concealer. I use this Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline under my eyes because it's peachy. And then I use this Maybelline Fit Me for my highlights. Make a semi-triangle under your eyes and focus on the dark spots. And then I'm going to be using this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Just it. We're using a peachy concealer first because it will cancel out the darkness or the blueness of our eye bags. So be careful on using this guys because sometimes it gets really cakey. If it gets too cakey, just clean it up with a wet beauty blender. So I still have a discoloration right here. So I'm just going to put the Maybelline Fit Me. This time, we have to put all the concealer under our eyes. Just focus on the dark spots and blend, blend, blend. You see the difference, you guys? It just lifts up your face. So there are some spots that my beauty blender won't reach, so I'm using a flat one. Wow, I just used two ah, I just used two beauty blenders just to blend my concealer. I don't usually wear concealer, you guys, because I'm not a pro accusing it but we're not all pro here if you're a pro this video is not for you i would also conceal dark spots and acne marks just heavily stamp on those spots so a foundation brush will be enough to blend your concealer but i like to use my beauty blender because it takes away the cakiness from all the coverage the next one would be highlighting so i'm going to take the same fit me concealer in fair so start from the bridge of your nose down to the tip of your nose. This will be a guide for later. Using this Echo 2 eyeshadow brush. We are going to blend it. So go ahead and blend it straightly. This would give you an instant nose job effect. There we go. Remember, we're not gonna use makeup to erase our face. We're just going to enhance it, okay? So we're going to do a cat eye soft glam look. If you can make past this stage, I'm going to teach you the cut crease eyeshadow. But first, let's go ahead and put 
put a tape put the tape into an angle this will be our guide for the eyeliner later so you don't mess up there we go so this might take a little while to get used to but practice makes perfect now we are going to get our eyeliner i'm going to be using this nyx professional epic ink liner so just be careful with this one i'm going to switch but i'm on vacation and i'm not in vegas this is all i have now we're gonna do a little wing the length will be up to you but start with a short length and go from there when you're done with your outer wing go ahead and create a line from the middle and connect it with the outer wing go ahead and fill it in it will be better if it's darker as possible now it's time to draw a line from your inner corner connecting to the wing that we've created earlier. When you're happy with your liner, go ahead and let it dry. Don't open your eyes yet because it will smear and it will be too hard to clean the mess up. Do the same wing on the other eye and don't forget to remove the tape when you're done. Go ahead and get your favorite blush. I'm using Benefit in California. I know it's kind of weird using blush as your eyeshadow, but I really like the pigment of this and the warmth that it gives my eyes. So go ahead and put it all over your lids. I would use a bigger eyeshadow brush in order to blend the eyeshadow. Make sure that you won't be able to see where it starts and there are no harsh lines. To accentuate our crease, I will use this Morphe Neutral Territory palette and then I will get a flat slanted eyeshadow brush and use that on our crease. Starting from your wing, go ahead and make a concave shape following your crease and go back and forth. Make sure that you're blending well. And do the same thing on the other side. For the eyebrows, so I'm going to be using Eated House Eyebrow Drawing Pen in number 3. Everyone will have a different eyebrow arch, so go ahead and just follow the arch from your nose until the end of your eyes. For the upper part, go ahead and find the highest peak of your arch and start from there. Make sure you're doing a light feathery stroke so that you'll be able to erase any mess. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to clean it up with a concealer later. When you're done with the outline, fill in the bald spots with light feathery strokes. For the front part of the eyebrow, I will usually do an upward stroke motion so it will mimic the hair strands of the natural eyebrow. Using the eyebrow brush at the end of your eyebrow liner, go ahead and brush it as to the direction of the eyebrow hair growth. To set our masterpiece, I'm going to use NYX Brow Mascara in Brunette and just follow the strokes of the natural growth of your hair. Now we're going to clean up the harsh lines in the overlined area of our eyebrow. Saturate a flat slanted eyeliner brush and then just go ahead and clean up the parts where you overlined. Using the other end of your echo tool, go ahead and blend the concealer. Make sure not to touch the eyeshadow. And do the same thing with the upper eyebrow as well. Okay, now we're done with our eyebrows. We're going to go ahead and finalize our eyeshadow. I'm going to use this Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to use my finger. Just put a dot right here. You can blend this with your finger or with an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. And make a small line as close to the inner corners of your eye. Use the same eyeshadow brush to highlight your nose. Go ahead and create a super thin line from your nose bridge down to the tip. And then this would give your nose an instant nose job. Okay, 
now we're done with our eyes we're going to use this voluminous lash paradise mascara from l'oreal I think everybody knows how to put mascara on but if you don't just start from the base of your lashes and then make a zigzag motion outward and then do the same thing with your bottom lashes use this small fan brush and use the same eyeshadow for our lips right here i like your cupid's bow by doing a slight sweeping motion back and forth we're going to use the blush brush and then the Benefit California brush. Blush placement plays a vital role on your makeup look. So right now, we're going to sweep it on our cheekbones. And a little bit on our chin for a warmer look. Now it's time for eyelashes. I got this from Amazon. These are synthetic lashes, but it's so pretty and no animals were harmed. I use Kiss Eye Envy in Super Strong Black. And then I will put a little bit on my eyelash strip and would do a curved shape just like this in order to accommodate my eye shape. Once it's tacky, I would put it as close to my lash line as possible. It will be a little bit tricky to put on eyelashes. This took me months to perfect this, but if you have eyeliner, that would save you. And then do the same thing on the other eye. And then for our lips, I don't usually want to put any color on it, but we're going to line our lips with this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Deeper. We're going to use this Essence Lip Gloss to plump our lips. Okay, now that you look like you've ate a lot of lip chon, go ahead and examine your face. If you have some spot that you would need some blending, do it. And then we're going to set our face with NYX Matte Finish. Long Lasting Setting Spray. Cover your eyes and your brows. Spray it and let it dry. This would seal all of your makeup and will make it sweat proof. Okay, while waiting for it to dry, you guys, I'm going to do my hair and maybe put some contacts on and I'll see you later. watching <laughs> i hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button so you guys know what's up and follow me on instagram so i'll be an instagram model soon at oh my god this olga remember to stay positive and spread love and world peace i'll see you on my next video bye